During quarantine, I watched a lot of um, Mindhunters. It was like Criminal Minds vibes. I went through a whole Criminal Minds phase just to get something to take my mind off of the real world. I like reality TV because at the end of a long day of school, sometimes I just want to chill and not really think a lot about what I'm watching. So reality TV is that nice little just drama and it's just enjoyable to watch. I really like Schitt's Creek because it's a comedy. It really brings a lighthearted mood to my daily life and I really like Demon Slayer just because of the action and the plot and the mystery of the story a little bit. I am currently watching um, Disenchantment on Netflix. Uh, me and my friends also finished Bridgerton yesterday and I'm also obviously going back to re-binge Criminal Minds. The TV show that I'm currently watching is The Walking Dead. It's a really good show and it started off really good the first couple seasons, but then the later seasons got bad, so I'm rewatching the beginning seasons. Well, my favorite movie is definitely The Point Dynamite. This is what I tell everyone. So we recently just watched the Britney Spears documentary and I definitely recommend that. I'm currently watching Matt James, The Bachelor right now. I'm watching Are You the One? And I'm watching Love Island. My favorite movie of all time is Arrival. It's uh, it's kind of like a space movie, but it's like a thinker movie that you have to think about it. So, I don't know, it's my favorite movie of all time, so. I really like watching Kung Fu Hustle, which is a movie from China that's on Netflix and it's got like subtitles that you can follow along with. I also really like watching Pride and Prejudice. Borat, definitely Borat. My favorite streaming service is Disney+. Plus. Honestly, I'm partial to Netflix only because they don't have commercials. Hulu, I hate waiting for the commercials. Netflix, I mean, it's the basic one, but I feel like it's the most efficient, best to watch. I'd have to say it's between Netflix or Disney Plus, um, but HBO Max is also another good one. HBO, like over a break when I was home for Wonder Woman, and the movies that they have on there are really good. I think it's actually worth it to buy it just to see like the new movies. Well, ever since quarantine, I have definitely gone into TV shows a lot more than normal, so that's definitely something that has changed. 